why is it that the Republican Party has voted down today a l increase in the minimum wage, which is not truly a living wage, because if people got a living wage, it would be at least $22. How is it that Congress and the Senate can raise their salaries, which I feel it should be voted by the people and not them? Because today I believe the people would vote that they would, the Senate and Congress, should only have a minimum wage because I would vote for that so people is it fair that they can increase uh, no I mean decrease rich people's taxes which most if not all of Congress are in that bracket so why can't they give the American people a living wage of $22 an hour because that would be what I was getting back in the uh, 80s You know, compared to the money today with inflation that has occurred, I, you know, I keep seeing prices going up every time I go to the supermarket. And I can barely make it. You know, and I'm getting Social Security and workers comp and a small pension from my union so if I can't make it on that money how can people across America make it on a minimum wage it, it, it doesn't make sense so people get together and demand call your congressmen call your senators and say hey rich man how about taking care of the people who elected you if they don't want to take care of the people who elected them then maybe the people need to band together and throw those bums out. You know, it's shameful how the Republican Party can do this to the American people. You know, it, it, it seems even in, uh, uh, what is it, um, the Supreme Court? The Republicans there are working against the Constitution. We need to have people on the Supreme Court, in Congress and the Senate, who are working for the people instead of getting a paycheck for doing nothing or to support rich people uh, to give taxpayers money to big corporations I mean I, I believe these corporations are anti-American because if they're not willing to pay their fair share in taxes 
and the rich aren't willing to pay their fair share in taxes and to hide money overseas, let's find them. And also, uh, the Democrats are not, you know, clean-handed in this matter. I mean, how the Attorney General can say uh, we can't prosecute the bankers and, and other people who caused this recession is an outrage. And he should also go or get minimum wage for the job he's done because that memo he put out to say we can't put the people in jail even though they stole from the American people and caused this recession we won't do anything but find them and who's paying the fine you and I are paying these bankers and real estate brokers and, and everybody else who caused this recession. So, you know, let's get together and sign a petition to give Congress the minimum wage and the Senate and to kick the Attorney General out of his office because he should not be getting taxpayers money that pays his salary for uh, saying, you know, if you got a white collar and wear a tie, you got to get out of a uh, jail card. That is not fair. What do you think about it? I want to hear from you. Thank you.